WGN investigates a marina project that's adrift. Despite federal and state approval, City Hall is refusing to green light a new marina near Navy Pier. Investigative reporter Ben Bradley looks at the dispute. Another boating season has come and gone without the tourists and tax dollars this marina would generate. And if the mayor's office has a reason for stalling the project, they're not talking about it publicly. All right, ready on one. Let's cast off one. I'm going to come up just a little bit. Everybody holding on? Yeah, I'm good. Randy Podolsky is a boater. We would come out to the jut right there. Right, right where the building tees off. And developer with a plan to build a marina at Navy Pier. Nothing like it on Lake Michigan. Touting the privately funded project as a bonus for boaters and the city at large. It would add, you know, like I say, the $10 million of revenue, maybe more. The marina would stretch along Navy Pier's northern edge, offering short-term mooring for up to 150 boats. You don't stay all summer. You can come for the night, for the day, for a week. A so-called transient marina, the first of its kind on Lake Michigan. You want unique visitors coming to Navy Pier. You want new people to come and visit and enjoy the amenities. It seemed like smooth sailing back in 2016 when the city council unanimously approved Podolsky's project with the backing of then Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Public comment. State and federal regulators, including the Army Corps of Engineers, have signed off as well, with the park district and boating community publicly praising the project. We know the people will come. We know the people will spend dollars and support local community restaurants and organizations, and all we have to do is execute. But as another boating season winds down, the project appears to be sinking. Six years have now passed, and it's unclear if Podolsky's dream will ever come to fruition. Well, I can't legally put a shovel in the water to attach anything to these piers without that harbor construction permit from CDOT. A permit that Mayor Lightfoot's administration refuses to issue, despite the council's previous approval. What was said publicly was unspecified security concerns. Concerns that reportedly center on the city's Jardine water purification plant, which is directly across from the proposed marina. As the largest facility of its kind in the nation, supplying millions of people with clean water, its protection is a priority. Here's an open door, there's an open dock bay. But as Podolsky points out, boats can go near the plant right now. And there's not even a fence around this place. Not on the south side of the water plant where the marina would go, or the north side, home to a raucous repository of partiers known as the playpen. <laughs> Hundreds and hundreds of boats just anchor and hang out here. All as close, if not closer, to the water plant than on the other side. And you don't know who any of them are. Alderman Brendan Riley, whose ward includes Navy Pier, supports the proposed marina, claiming it would actually improve, not risk, security. The irony here is that if we were to install this marina, it would make the North Pier even more safe than it is today. There's nothing to stop you from driving a boat through there right now. Podolsky says his project includes safeguards such as cameras, round-the-clock security, and requiring a photo ID, credit card, and boat registration to enter. It's very frustrating. He's now suing the city in Cook County Circuit Court, claiming Lightfoot's administration exceeded their authority in denying to issue his permit and asking a judge to essentially greenlight the project. So the only reason this is not moving forward is Mayor Lightfoot. We asked the mayor about her opposition at a recent press conference. Well, my recollection is that we're in litigation on that matter, so I'm not going to comment on it. One of the ironies for me is this is called the people's pair. This is our pair. It's your pair. It's your pair. We're supposed to be able to have access to it. And the only thing stopping us right now is the same city that approved the marina to be built in 2016. The project is privately funded, no tax dollars are involved. Even Navy Pier officials sound supportive, saying a transient marina has long been part of the pier's plan for development. But with the case wending through court, including a new motion from the Lightfoot administration to dismiss the case, it could be several more years before we learn whether the marina plan sinks or swims. Ben Bradley, WGN Investigates.